We are excited to be up here on the WCCO rooftop. It's beautiful this morning. It feels good. At least we're in a suit. It feels good. I don't know how you guys feel. It still feels good. Feels good. We're here to celebrate 60 years. 60 years ago is when Kramarczyk's uh, opened up in Northeast Minneapolis. We're so happy to have Nick Kramarczyk and Orist uh, with us this morning. Orist, what a milestone. Uh, yes. Well, it's a third generation, and that's uh, pretty hard to do these days. Uh, um, when you guys first started up, I mean, today we think about you and we think about kind of you know the ukrainian and the polish sausages as just a normal part of cuisine but 60 years ago in minneapolis that wasn't the case was it no there was a lot of uh so-called sausages and when my parents came over and my father brought his recipes over uh, nobody made sausage in the european way where they used all meat and uh, the various cuts of meat to bring out the flavor of the sausage so they threw a lot of spices in and yeah. who knows what else. You know, I think a lot of people are introduced to your sausages going to Target Field at the Minnesota Twins games. And that's a lot of fun for people, but you've been around for 60 years. Where, uh, what differences have come through the years? Well, it's the differences have been huge. Um, people used to be like steak and potato eaters. And even when I came in the business, uh, we were sort of cutting edge. And then uh, when my parents started the business, they used a lot of locally sourced uh, meat and, uh, you know, wholesome spices to bring out the flavors of the sausages. Nick, what's it like kind of working in a family business? Uh, it definitely has its ups and downs. It's just like the reality TV shows you see. I mean, it's, <laughs> there's a lot of fights. Uh, not a lot. It is, you know, there's enough to spice it up. But it's, it's really rewarding to go to work with your family every day and um, kind of keep something going, keep a legacy going. Nick, you have the gloves on. What are we making over here? Can you tell us the differences in these sausages? Yeah, absolutely. Um, up front here, we have the kielbasa. That's kind of our number one recipe that we've started the business on. Then next, we got the Slovak. That's the third one in. Oh, this one. Yep, that's coarse ground garlic and caraway. And that's actually a longtime customer's family recipe. So he wanted us to make it to kind of keep his family's recipe going. We made it, and the customers love it. Um, the last one is our apple and gouda bratwurst so that's been really popular this summer you guys have kielbasa festival coming up this weekend i like to come there with my family i've been there uh, many times this Great. is this is the fifth right fifth year and uh, it's bigger and better than ever we got a bigger tent uh, we got some five-year anniversary steins with a flip top and a sausage handle for the vip ticket holders and uh, yeah it should be a great time all right, very good. Kramarchex, uh is right in northeast Minneapolis. It's just over the Hennepin Avenue Bridge. If you're uh, in downtown, across the street from Punch, give people a couple landmarks so they know where it is. They should come check it out. And we will talk more about Kielbasa Festival because, well, it's called Kielbasa Festival. And so it's kind of a no-brainer, Matt. This is what we're going to talk about. I mean, there is a little literal sausage festival going on in northeast Minneapolis. I know, it's fantastic. And, and just to correct you, Jason, Punch is across from Kramarczyk. Okay, Kramarczyk right. yes. is not across from Punch. <laughs> Very so good. Let's clear that up. Agreed. Uh, 